Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with part two. We're working on this Christmas cheer, beautiful paper collection from Blue Fern Studios. And we're making this little, um, we're duplicating this ephemera folder with all of its fun goodies in it. So um, <clears throat> today we are gonna work on the cover and then we're gonna work on the one page both of which I'm going to use chipboard that needs embossing. So we're going to do that. Um, this is what I'm looking at for my cover. So um, I think we'll get started with it. I'm just going to set this one aside So uh, for a moment. Um, so I think the first thing I want to do with the cover is I'm going to remove all this. I was just kind of laying it out and get these... Um, the, get the image adhered to the front. So um, I'm going to kind of take these off in the um, sort of the design that I wanted. And, um, and we're going to emboss this chipboard. But first we'll get, we'll get these um, glued down. And um, <clears throat> I'm just debating. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna see how well this adheres. I may go over these edges with some matte medium um, if I feel like it needs it too. So let's let's get started. Let's get started. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am going to use um, art glitter glue on this rather than glue stick, only because it's on the cover and covers get a little more wear and tear than you know like a journaling card or something like that so i'm just going to go around the edges here get the edges nicely nicely down and then just kind of get some glue in the middle um, I kind of have a marking idea on um, on the cover too. There's a little line at the top and that's about where we're going to line this up when we put it on. We need some room at the bottom for all our goings on with our chipboard and flowers and everything. Okay, trying to get this basically in the middle. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Get that pressed down. Perfect. Isn't that a great image? Oh, I just think that's so pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to go around the edges of this music paper up as close to the edge as I can just to make sure these are these stick down. Super excited to do some embossing. That will be fun. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny guys. I love, I love crafting with you. You know, I do, I do it every day, several times a day, some days, <laughs> but, um, when it came to like laying out those flowers that, as you know, if you've watched my channel, isn't something I do a lot. I, j I had to do it off camera. I just, I couldn't even think while I was on camera. So, um, yeah, so I just shut off the camera and then it just all kind of fell into place. Isn't that funny? Okay, so I want this right the top. I also don't want it hanging over the edge and I also want it to be straight. <laughs> I have a lot of, lot of needs here. Okay, I'm just going to press this down this way because since we don't have anything in the book yet, it wasn't, it wasn't really sturdy enough there. Okay, um, gosh, I feel like that's down pretty well. You know, I think just to be safe, we're going to just go over that with a tiny bit of, um, of matte medium. Just one second, I'll grab my golden, and I'm also going to grab, grab a little brush here, um, which we will need to get dried off because I'm, I don't want this to get wet. I just, I just want to have a little sealer. So I'm using golden gel mediums, 
heavy gel mat um, is what I have. And it's really, it's my preferred for this because um, it seals it without, uh, well, it's matte, so it's not glossy, but also um, it's, it's just got a nice texture to it. It's almost like you can't tell it's there. So, okay, I'm going to move the water because... I'm dangerous with such things. Okay, let's let's just put a little of this on and then it can dry while we're doing the other parts. Okay, my gel medium's separating a little bit. It's kind of getting a little bit um, juicy. But this is old. Gosh, I've had this for probably seven years. I don't know. I just don't use that much of it, so. But it will, um, it's glue too, so it will kind of make sure those edges are good and down too, as well as protecting the paper. <clears throat> so yeah, I think this is, this is the prudent way to go. Darn my uh, heater's on. I could have had this up there drying if I was quicker. But... I especially want to make sure this edge is good because it's right on the edge of the book. Okay, I'm just going to go over this a little bit too, just because probably doesn't need it, but since I have it out, I might as well just make sure that's all good and protect it. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna pop that right up right now under the heater. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna emboss a bit. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, get rid of that. I can get rid of that. Put that over here. Okay. Let's let's think about the embossing here. So we have the two pieces, this is for the one page, this is for the other. I'm gonna get some um, wax paper just so my mat doesn't get super gunky. Um, okay, so let's see. My, my thought was the cranberry I wanted to do on this bow and then this around here and then on the holly berries. So let's let's work on that first. Um, so this VersaFine watermark stamp pad is awesome for embossing, but when you're doing, you know, this is fairly intricate, like I just want to get the, originally get the glue for the cranberry on the berries. Um, that pan works really well for that. So Versa Mark, uh, Versa Marker, this one, watermark pen. So um, yeah, it's it's really good for, um, I, what would you say, more intricate designs, I guess. So let's start with the cranberry and we'll go from there, how about, okay. I don't need that yet. <laughs> I need to put this on. Jeez. Okay. So I'm just going to really kind of saturate it on the areas where there's, where there's the berries. And I'm going to go in a circle because, um, really these are just like half circles kind of. And um, we are just going to, we'll just do this one first. And you don't have to like super hurry, but I don't waste any time either because you don't want it to dry. I don't know if that was berry up there, but it's gonna be now. And I love, love, love this cranberry 
embossing powder is so pretty. It's got sparkles in it. I'll show you the brand here in a second. Okay, so let's do this. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this on where we've marked with the pen. And I'm generous because it can all go back in the bottle once we're done. Okay. And you can use tweezers for this or just use your hands, whichever. Okay, that looks pretty good. I could use a bit more on that berry right there. Okay, maybe the marking wasn't good enough. Yeah, some of these aren't. Okay, and this one. Now I can just turn it over in what I've got there. See how that did. That's better on those. Yeah, it's not sticking real well. Hmm. Maybe my pen's getting dry. That could be. Or it's because the heat's on and it's drying out too quick. I don't know. But we're going to try those again. Yeah, that's better. Better second time around getting glitter on my pen, but I don't care. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want more than what was on there. But it, we're looking better now. We're looking better now. Where was that one that I just did? <laughs> I turn it over and then I can't find it. Okay, yep. Yep, yep, we're looking better. The other thing you can do is go ahead and hit it with your heat tool, but then go back and emboss some more. You know, that's the other option. I'm no expert at this. I just work my way through it, so. I guess I'm saying don't necessarily listen to me. <laughs> There's probably really good YouTube videos on embossing. Um, but I do okay. So, okay. Um, where is that? Now, you guys, um, there is going to be some heat tool in this, so if you've got earbuds in or something, you might want to pop them out while we do this. Yeah, so this part's a little bit fiddly because it's so intricate, but the results are worth it. Okay, so what I was thinking was of doing the um, the leaves then in green and then the ribbon in gold. But what I'm going to do right now is set this one aside and go ahead and do the cranberry on it. So... Um, I think what I'll do is use the pad for this part, for most of this part. I won't be able to do the whole thing because it'll get too close. 
but I can do some of it and then we'll go back with the pen. That's good. That's good. And then we just have this little bit we have to do with the pen. Okay. So that covered great the first time, which generally I do like the stamp pad better. Okay, and then we're just going to use the pen on the bow, which the bow and this part right here. Okay, I'm just going to get that down in while it's still wet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I need a new pen. I think I'm I'm running out of juice a little bit. That's my issue, but that's all right. We'll get it. Okay, I'm gonna hit that and I might do a second coat on that one. See how it looks. Oops. Oh, that was great. I just went like that and it went all over the place. Oh my gosh, Gail, you are something else. Oh well, that's okay. Other than I love that color. So this is, it's called Stamp N Stuff. And I got it at an estate sale, so I have no idea if they still even have that or whatever. Okay, I definitely, I don't know if I can do this with the stamp pad, but I'm going to try. Just to get more glue on it. Okay, let's see how that does. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we'll hit that one time. Okay, good. That's that's better. Okay, but then <laughs> we're going to clean up the cranberry. We're just going to get it out of our tray here. Jeez. I'm going to need a good scrub after this. Prior to the next video, we shall be scrubbing the desk. You do get the good, the bad, and the ugly, don't ya? <laughs> so. So YouTube has a thing now where um, where you have to say whether your channel is content for children. I am saying mine is not and because it is not my intention that children watch my channel. Um, it's for crafters. And so um, if you watch with one of your kidlets, please don't put anything in the comments about that because YouTube will turn off comments on my channel. If, if they deem that it's content for children. So we have to be careful about that. Um, I make my videos for adult crafters. 
is is why I make my videos. So help me out with that. And um, if you want to talk about your kidlets, send me an email <laughs> or on my website or whatever. Okay. So that that was I just wanted to be sure to mention that because it's a new thing. And um, I don't disagree with it. I mean, they're doing it to protect children, and I get that. So I'm just going to do all this in green. And I want this little tip right here to be green, too. Don't know if I can quite do that, but we're going to try. Okay. Um, yeah, so... So just let me be clear. I do not make my videos for children. Um, that is not my intent at all. It is to help other crafters. And I just don't want to get my comments shut down because I like hearing from all of you. <laughs> so, so let's, let's, if you just help me with that, that would be great. Okay. Ew. Yeah, so this morning I did the work needed to make my channel an adult channel. Always trying to teach this old dog new tricks, I tell you what. Okay, um, so I'm going to go back in with the pen for a second here and see if we can, this is dry, see if we can get a little more on here. Granted, I'm going to have a little bit of green, or a little bit of sparkle here from, <laughs> okay, let's see how that does. Okay, I'm going to try and only get that right there. Because I really want to do the bell in, um, in gold. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay, Belle, you are going to be gold. So we're going to put you aside. We're going to do these green leaves. Might as well stay with the color that we're doing, right? Okay, so I might have to do these like two at a time or something so that the glue doesn't dry out. At least get the I won't have to dry them, but I just need to get the get the green on them. Yep, that's going to work pretty good, I think. I'm really having to press this down to get anything, so that's that's telling me that I could use a new pen. Whoops, I did the same ones again. Ding dong. There we go. This is tedious, I grant you, but this is so pretty when it's done. Okay, so continue down this away, I guess. Those two. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more green in there just so I have a little more to lay into here. I do enjoy my 
blue fern design team, I feel like it's a lot more, um, what would you say, a lot more techniques involved in it, kind of, than because there's lots of different parts and pieces to play with. Okay. This one. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, do my heat gun on those only because I'm starting to pull off the powder on the ones that I've already done. So let's just get these ones done. Yeah, see those top ones, I knocked off a lot of the green, so we're gonna have to redo those. So, but I think we'll be okay, maybe. I'm sure I just grabbed them or something, you know. Good. Just three more. And then we'll redo. We'll do those. Okay. I do find too on this, you guys, that um, darker to lighter is best. You know, do your do your dark colors first. Okay, all four of these need more, or just these three, I guess. Okay. goes a lot quicker when my heat gun is um, warmed up too. A little bit more on this guy. Oh! These had the powder on and I didn't dry them. So there you go. All confused. I am going to put a tiny bit more on these two leaves because I know, ow, it's hot. <laughs> I know that these are going to show. Um, some of these are, I mean, some of this is going to be covered up by the flowers, <laughs> by the roses. Okay, I think that's pretty good on that okay so now we're to the gold so I mean it takes a little time but it's it, I think the effect of it is so worth it and I know you guys that have done scrapbooking and all that kind of stuff have done all this flower stuff um, I haven't as much just because journals are a little different animal because you know theoretically you might be in it every day so you kind of want it to be a little more sturdy okay awesome so there's the dark green so now we're going to do gold i think this will be fun okay ew my mouth dusty okay Let's see if we can do this on the, I wonder if we can do this on the pad, the bell, 
much I can get most of it anyway. Hope I'm on camera. Yep, that looks pretty good. So let's um let's do it. I don't think I've ever used this one. All of my embossing powders I've gotten at garage sales, so um, I cannot tell you where I got them, what, you know, where to find them, anything like that. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see what the gold looks like. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Let me show you up in the camera if I can. See that? How fun that is? So much fun. Okay, let's gold up the ribbons. I think I'll start on this end. I think I can get this end with... Had, I do believe. Okay. Yeah, do that. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm going to kind of do this as I go. Ooh, I got some gold right on the edge of that leaf, but that looks cool. <laughs> that looks cool. Okay, so this one is going to be tricky. I need to put a little more out there. Yep. Look at this whole strip right there. Let's see if we can. Use the brush and brush it off of my cranberries. <laughs> okay. All right. And we're going to go along here. If I find this pen on Amazon, I'll put it on my favorite things. So I'll look, see if I can find it. Okay. Oops. Well, if we have more gold than anything else, that's okay, too. <laughs> I'm just going with it. Gosh, it's pretty. Love that gold. Love it. Okay, so now we know, don't we? Fan of the gold. Hey. 
Ow, hot. <laughs> hot cardboard, hot cardboard. Might as well do this too, I guess. Okay. have one more little bit here right here Alrighty then, we did it. We did it and I'm pretty happy with the results. Okay, let's get all of this out of our way. I would imagine our cover is more than dry at this point. Okay, get a little of this in here. I won't take time to clean up my cranberry mess until after the video. Actually, a large mouth like that is really helpful. Those little bitty ones I got at Joann's. I do know that. These ones came from Joann's. And they're fine. It's just kind of hard to get it, the leftovers back into the jar. So, all right. Got those. Okay, so those can sit over here. I need to get rid of my brush and water okay get rid of this and the brush okay okay we are all sorts of dusty <laughs> all righty i i think these are gonna be fun i think i'm gonna throw this one away it's seen better days. Okay, I do need to just wipe off a little bit because otherwise I'm going to have embossing powder all over everything. Including me. <laughs> I might as well. I guess I'll try and get a little bit of this. Yeah. That was a giant waste of my beautiful cranberry. That's what happens when you're doing and not thinking. You know what I mean? Gosh, I do that all the time. Do you? <laughs> do you do without thinking too? Oh, gosh. Yeah, that, some of that's just going to live there in per perpetuity. Okay. All righty. Let's grab our cover. Oh, that's nice. Yep, that's really on there nicely. Okay, so then this guy is going to go like so. So I think we're just, we're just going to go for it. Let's see what time it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, good. Yeah, we're going to get this done. Okay, so this is where your art glitter glue it comes in so handy because you can get all these little itty bitty curvy things and and everything the leaves and and then it will just stick down so well is the thing either this or a fine line applicator like Mary Peterson sells in her Etsy three insistent dogs. Spell out the word three. And um, she's got a fun applicator in there. That works too. It's just that fine line that's so handy. And it also helps if you have good aim. <laughs> 
which sometimes mine's a little off. But isn't this fun? Oh, I think this is going to be such a fun cover. I'm excited. And then once we get the cover done, then we can start working on our, um, we can start working on our, ah, um, ephemera, sorry. Okay, I think that's a pretty good spot. Making sure all of those are down. Don't want them catching on stuff, you know. Okay, and then I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for the flowers. And um, I used, like, let's see, I think the blue one is still all intact. I used this, cut these flowers. Um, these are blue fern. The red is Blue Fern Blooms Crimson, Blue Fern Blooms Candlelight are the two that I used. This one is Cornflower, but there wasn't a lot of blue. I mean, the bird is blue. Gosh, maybe you should pull, up, pull down some blue. But I really kind of liked the red and yellow, so we'll go with it. All right, so I had these kind of sitting around here. Let's recreate kind of what I did. I think I had those like that. Okay, so I want to clip this off. I think my scissors will do it. Yep, easy. Easy peasy. So I think I want that there. I know I want this guy down in the corner. And then these ones are going to be down here a little bit. So let's just Let's just do this thing. Let's not mess around. Let's do this thing. And um, I guess we'll just go like that. Okay. And then this one. a good amount of glue on them just because I want them to be want to be there forever okay okay I like that then down <laughs> and embossing powder on the leaf <laughs> I think I had these about right here-ish. Is that where I had them? I'm thinking about using a small blue one right there. Let me just see what it would look like. Okay, so, and all I did was I just clipped these off close to the base. And, um, and then I just smooshed it down. Okay, let's see what we think of that. Hmm. I think I do kind of like the blue. Okay, well that's all right. Then we have a, another yellow flower to use at a different time. So we're going to use one of the cornflower colored ones. Put these guys back. And I need to snip off the stem of the leaf because it's way too long. I'm poking out here. Okay, so I need to snip it off right about here. Perfect. And we're going to put it right there. So. So 
So this is different. You haven't seen me play with flowers before, have you? Little, a little different for this girl and I think it's so fun so pretty and then this little guy down there right in there okay so let me show you that quick like just get it up here is that kind of fun kind of different huh okay but here's what I want to do because hello it's Christmas and We've got, and we've got roses. And so I'm gonna put some, these are crystal st uh, stickles. And so I'm just gonna put them on my finger. That is, these are old. I don't know if I really wanna use them though. I have about 14 bottles of them. So if this one doesn't work, oh, this one's gonna work. Okay, and so I just wanna Kind of go around the edges of the flower or of the rose. Look at me using my left hand like I know what I'm doing. But my left hand's really oh oh <laughs> sorry sorry I gotcha I gotcha um my left hand is really random so and that's what I want so this is working out okay oh, that guy's not sticking down come on stick down That's pretty on the blue. Kind of try to do the edge of the leaf. Might have to take this red one off and re glue it. It's just not sticking down there like I want it to. I'm kind of on the edges here. Okay, I don't want to overdo it, but I, I just think that's an extra little bit of fun. Um, and hints at snow, so. See how that just, that's just so fun. Okay, how are you doing? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it and I'll see if I need to pluck that rose and take it off. Okay, our cover is done and I love it. So we're gonna move on in these next couple of minutes to this, which will be on the inside page. And so we don't have a whole ton to do to it. We just have to glue it on. And then um, I don't think I'm going to be able to, I'm not going to glue it onto the book until those roses are dry. So we'll do that first thing next video. We'll get it all ready and then we'll put it on. Fun, fun, fun. Oh my gosh, such pretties. Okay. 
Okay, there's that. Okay, and then this guy, we need to glue on to here. And we've kind of, I've got it cut out as much as I think. Well, I don't know. I might cut a little bit more right here. Yep. Okay. We're going to glue this onto that and then the whole thing onto our um, journaling card. And that's going to be and then the journaling card's going to go on as a pocket on the inside of our folio. Hope this was okay for you guys to watch. It's it's a little fiddly. It's a little bit fiddly doing the um, embossing, but gosh, the effect of it is so fun. Okay. Now I'm just going to really quick like get some glue on this because it doesn't attach at the top. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to put this right here. Like that. And I'm going to hold it down for a second. <laughs> All right. Well, we got our embossing done. I think that will be it on the embossing. I don't know. Unless we see something, you know, as we're making that ephemera, we might see a tag or something that we think, oh gosh, a little piece of that chipboard would be fun. But so there's this one. And this is going to go on as a top loading pocket, I think. I think. What I probably should have done is left this. I don't know. I might not make it a pocket because this is going to be too fragile, I think, to go in and out of. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. So there is. there we go for this video. We got our cover done. And then, um, and then this is going to go on this page here. So... I think that's I think that's where we go with it. So thanks so much everybody for for crafting with me today and doing some embossing and doing some flowers that I hadn't done before, but I'm really happy with it all. It's fun. Okay. Um we will just see you next time everybody. Have a grateful day. Bye-bye.